morning walk since I did an entire It's so early. Let's go get some coffee. This is the outlet. I put this place in. As much as I wish I had. Let's see all the orders come in. Look! Or the sun's going off. I wanted to show you guys some of the hours of work on my computer I feel like I'm hitting a wall right now but Hunter and I are gonna go take Coco on a walk I know I keep talking about the walks and the vlogs but honestly I just really like getting into routine right now especially for the fall we tend to like stay home more I don't know we just love like the cozy vibes and I actually do think that this year I've just focused on routine and fitness obviously I got my personal training license so I feel like I try and integrate habits throughout my routine. I feel like the next thing for me that I really want to focus on is supplement. I actually found a brand that I'm working with in today's video. Their name is Care Of. Like I said, you guys need to do research on your own about brands that you're taking and I know it's a lot and supplements is just one of those things that I haven't done consistently for a long time, but I recently started taking my care of supplements. I am going to talk about them in today's video. I'm not going to share exactly what supplements I take because everybody is so different. And that's actually a huge reason why I love care of is because you get to take a question error, like quiz at the beginning of finding the supplements that work for you. And I think that that's so great for a company to do because it's very personalized. I love that they take an account that every single person is different. Everybody's goals are different. Everybody's health history is different. And not only is care of a very holistic brand that I trust but they also care about their consumer and they care about the goals that the consumer has and that's what I really love about care of I also like that they come in these cute packets because they're really easy to take in the morning I don't want to have a million different supplement bottles that I have to remember to take every day I just don't work like that I need something easy fast something that adds to my life that doesn't feel like a chore and that's why I love care of so I wanted to share them with you guys definitely do your own research please check in with your doctor make sure that whatever supplement you're taking is good for you but of course I just wanted to share a brand that I really love and did research on my own they actually gave me a code if you guys want to check them out it's Caitlin Nolan 50 I'll put it on the screen you guys can go to takecareof.com and use that code or you can just click the link in the description below to learn more about care of take their quiz just see what it's all about and thank you so much care of for sponsoring today's video again go to takecareof.com and use code caitlin50 for 50% off your first order i'm gonna go figure out if hunter's ready for a walk and then i want to get showered for the day because i literally don't think i've washed my hair in like four days i'm doing an entire episode today about different things that i've learned this summer obviously summer's coming to a close the end of summer is the 22nd so two days and then it's finally fall so I wanted to do an episode that kind of like rounded up the end of summertime and I wrote down a list and a little timeline for today's episode. So I'm going to record. I like to lean into the seasons for my podcast because I think it's cool that like I can look back on different episodes as life goes on and there's just like a spot where I literally share everything that's going on in my life and just like my mindset with things so i'm excited i always love recording i feel like i record to give you guys motivation for the week and then i end up giving myself motivation which is really nice we have coco slumped right there <laughs> and our house is clean so couldn't ask for a better setup good morning guys welcome back to my typical my typical fitness number kid okay next thing i have to do is fold some blankets i thought i would chat give you guys an update on how I've been feeling because I talked about in my last vlog that I was having like an anxious couple weeks and like I feel like I always struggle with anxiety on and off it's not like there's ever a week where I feel like I like don't have anxiety I think it's just like honestly the way that I like think about things I'm just an overthinker and pretty much we've just like hung out at the house also cleaning our space has made me feel better and like doing like a little refresh I went to Target got the new lamb we got a storage unit that helped me feel like we were like actually getting done with some projects. So all in all, I feel better. I'm excited because my parents are coming to visit and we're just gonna have a really fun weekend. I can't wait because I haven't been here together in a while and we love hosting. I feel like it's made, our house just feels a lot more cozy when we host people. So 
I'm gonna finish up doing these blankets and then I have some work to do on my computer. I'll see you guys in a little. Okay, now we're about to make some lunch. It's like clockwork around here, guys. Simple life isn't a bad thing. It's actually a blessing not to have a hectic life. Why can I never just like not clean? Especially when I'm vlogging. But I'm about to make some salmon. I have these little containers. Like, what would you call this? I don't know. <laughs> they just help that your air fryer doesn't get dirty every single time you cook. And I like them, so. Got these off of Amazon. They make some fresh Atlantic salmon, buffalo cauliflower, sweet potato, the Japanese sweet potato. After a lot of effort, we just made our first actually good tasting espresso latte with our new espresso machine. We got this from Amazon and then I got the beans from Mother's Market from Joshua Tree. Must be a small coffee shop there. And it took some time getting used to but wow, this tastes so good. Okay, just came into my closet, room, slash office, whatever. I put this black mini dress on that I haven't had for, or mini, not mini. You wanna go outside? Here. Yeah. I'm going out. I grabbed this jacket that I just got from Revolve. It's actually a cardigan. Really cute, actually. I don't know if this is like Christmas vibes, but it's actually really chilly out today because it's gloomy, so I thought that would be cute. I have my little clip in. From Target, felt the bag. Uh, might not be the bag. Sushi date. I changed, by the way, guys. Me too. <laughs> Wearing some jeans. I like these because they have a rip. It's not the butt though. It's like the thigh. I guess. Lower Is that the thigh? Wait. Yeah. Am I done? Hamstring. Hamstring. Yeah. Quad. Hamstring. <laughs> it's actually funny. Whenever me and Delaney work out, we always go the next day. Where are you sore? The quad or the hamstring? And all week, this week, she was like, my hamstrings are so sore. And I was like, my quads are so sore. So that tells me I'm very quad dominant, but I already knew. I need to have someone press on my leg when I work out, you know, how yeah. that to you mm -hmm. when I work out. not to yell. I'm about to get ready because I actually have a meeting this morning so I want to be a little bit presentable. I also have some errands to run today so I want to look cute, maybe get a fall outfit on. The weather in California is actually fall. Like when we go to take Coco on a walk in the morning and stuff which we didn't end up doing today but when we do that it's actually really chilly like I can't go without a jacket and I love that. It's my favorite part of the year. My parents are going to be so excited because they also love fall and it's obviously so freaking hot in Arizona still. I'm gonna finish up getting ready and then I'm gonna take my meeting and then we'll put together a fall outfit because I really want to look cute today. Okay, it's a little bit later. We're about to go get some coffee. This is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing my new ballet flats that I got from Amazon. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like these, but I don't know. I like them. They've been trending for a while and I haven't purchased any because like at first I was like, I don't know if those would look good on me, but I actually think they look really cute, especially with this outfit. I'm wearing this top that's from Super Down. It's actually really affordable. Well, not really afford affordable, but one of the more affordable brands on Revolve. And I really like the fit of it. Like I've worn this in many different ways and it's kept up for like a year. And then I have this skirt that's also from Revolve. I forget the brand, um, but I'm wearing my Skims like thong underwear that goes up with it. And you cannot see a thing like that underwear is actually life-changing with different things like it just makes everything look very seamless i did my hair and my makeup sorry it's so gloomy from this angle but it's been very gloomy we're gonna go get some coffee we have to leave coco here i didn't even finish my coffee from earlier because i'm still trying to figure out how to do the espresso machine look i made one two three coffees today and all of them tasted like crap <laughs> That's fine for full milk. Yeah. Rate it, rate it. <laughs> That's your go-to. Okay, it's a little bit later. 
I've been doing a little bit of work on my phone. I actually have a 10.45 spin class scheduled. So, I'm gonna take off all my makeup, which sucks. Like, I actually kinda wanna cancel, but there's really no reason why I would need to have my hair and makeup done. So, I'm just gonna do it. I'm going to, probably a good time to tell you guys how I take my makeup off. I use the Elmis Pro Cleansing Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, Super Cleansing Treatment Balm. It's really good for taking off your makeup. After you do the cleansing balm, I wipe that off with water. It's really thick, like you don't wanna leave that on your skin. I go in with a cleanser. This one's the Shawnee Darden Cleanser. Clean, good for your skin. And yeah, you have to wipe off this balm because it's really thick and it's just to like break down the makeup and then that's to actually clean your face. And then, before workout, I always spray this Tower 28 SOS spray because there's an ingredient in here that's really good for antibacterial. So when you're working out and you're sweating and sometimes I'll like wipe my face with a towel. The towels are probably pretty dirty. This is really good for like acne prone skin because it's cleaning your face pretty much as stuff goes on it. So highly recommend this product. This is like such a good product. I don't know why people don't know more about this product. I got this in a package from Sammy Clark's form brand and wow 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 love it i'm gonna take my makeup off and i'll see you guys probably after spin okay we're back from spin yeah that was fun i showered i did work on my computer all day it's the end of the night right now we're about to take hook on a little walk and i'm excited to sit on the couch all night my parents don't get in until 10 tonight and we're not really gonna do anything obviously so i'm probably gonna sit here i think i'm gonna watch Katie's YouTube. I actually talked to her on the phone today. Just caught up with her and I just miss her. So I'm gonna watch her YouTube because she started a YouTube channel finally. She's like the cutest human being ever. You guys should watch her. And naturally it was all my friends and family so thank you guys to everyone. Happy Friday. Just got back from our walk. Got dressed for the day. We're going to a coffee shop because the merch it's going live this morning, so we thought it'd be fun to get out of the house. All of us, me, my mom, my dad, and Hunter, we're all gonna go to a coffee shop called Milgram. Tried it last week, it was so good, and I'm very excited. I'm nervous, but okay. I'm also wearing my 112 shoes for good luck. Shout out Lily and Andy. <laughs> The podcast merch is officially live. It's funny, I actually don't know how to like check everything. But I'm sure it went smooth. Oh, I actually can see all the orders come in. Look, oh my in my God. email. And you just posted it? Yeah. Wait, that's so crazy. I did not think I was gonna get the orders. Like, I didn't think I'd be like notified when the orders came in. The orders are already coming in in the two minutes we're sitting here. Look. Ordered at 10.01, 10 10.02, 10 10.03, 10 3, 4, 4. And they've been waiting for it. That means you've done a great job promoting it. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. They just keep coming in. Look at it. That is crazy. And take a pic. The tree's glaring off of it. You guys, it's been a crazy day. It's 1.47. I've been glued to my computer since morning. The last clip that you guys saw, we were at the coffee shop with my family. It was really fun. I did want to say just like thank you so much for anyone who ordered from the launch, even if you didn't order, but you like showed love on Instagram or in my messages. It's just crazy. Like this whole day has just been like wild and I just want to say thank you guys. Hunter and I are making our little midday latte. I'm about to make some lunch too. Every day it's been really fun. We're coming right here and trying to figure out the espresso machine that we got. I'm gonna link this down below. The first like two days I was like, was this a bad decision? Cause it was like a $300 machine. And the espresso was tasting really watery. And I feel like I'm, Hunter's like paused. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I like a really strong coffee and I like my lattes to have that really like coffee smooth, not burnt flavor. So the first couple days I was not figuring it out. My friend Lily did say that like, it takes a couple trial days and stuff to get used to how to make it because there is like a lot of science behind it but a couple little tips that we've learned is 18 grams of espresso beans to fine grind your espresso beans and then once it starts brewing only brew it for 25 seconds because if it brews longer than that i feel like that's what was watering it down a little bit you know we're down to the science now this latte is perfect it tastes like i got it at starbucks
Did you see the note my mom left us wearing? It's so cute. I did not see that. I wanted to show you guys some of the skim stuff I just got this week. I feel like I've had a lot of my skim stuff for like almost two years and I haven't really repurchased a lot. So I got some updates. They do last a long time, but I think as you wash things, like they're just naturally gonna wear. So I wanted to get a couple of little PJ type things. I also wear these for like errands and stuff. So I got this tank. These are my favorite tanks. I have the white one and then I also have the black one. I like this color and they're also really, really soft. So you can sleep in them. Super cute, and then obviously I really liked this like sea foam color. I got this cotton t-shirt. There wasn't any matching shorts to this, but I really like this. I feel like that'll be really cute with like white jeans, sweatpants, obviously PJs, and yeah, I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of that. And then I got this bra because I feel like I wear a lot of like men's oversized button-ups, and I thought it would be cute to have that kind of poking out of the top. So cute, just three things. Um, we're actually about to go home decor shopping because I'm on the hunt for two really big vases for the floor in front of the fireplace. I think it'd be really pretty if we had like really organic looking pots right there. And then we also got new curtains and curtain rods this week, Hunter and I. We got the brass curtain rods. I think I might have talked about it. They look like that. My dad's going to help him hang that up. Sorry if you can hear Hunter's games. Um, and then I got the same curtains as my office slash guest room so we're gonna hang that up you guys have seen these before and they're gonna go in the corner of our living room because this living room is very empty ignore the puppy gate coco sometimes jumps on the window but i just don't like how empty this side of the room is when the rest of the room is so packed so we're gonna figure that out just got back home we did some errands and didn't end up buying anything but we just like walked around had a gloomy little morning now I'm gonna make myself some lunch I am actually so hungry right now oh yay totally forgot I had leftovers yay we have some fajita veggies ground turkey and I'm gonna cook some rice and then we're gonna go take Coco on a walk my little morning walk and then we might go to the gym because I've been training Hunter and it's kind of hard for him to get to the gym during the week. Obviously, he works a 9 to 5. So, normally when I think of a rest day, I think of like the weekend. But obviously, if you're just very busy during the week, it's more likely that you have rest days during the week. So, we're going to go to the gym today. I'll bring you guys around with us. Look how good this looks, especially for leftovers. I have my ground turkey, brown rice, guacamole pico, some fajita veggies, some cilantro, lime, and then you guys have to try this taco sauce by Siete. It's really spicy, but it tastes like the taco bell sauce. I really like it. And then I'm also going to have a turmeric shot because I'm very sore <laughs> from my week of workouts and I feel like turmeric helps slightly. Plus there's coconut water, so it gives me some hydration, but yum. Since I did an entire updated makeup look in my last vlog, I won't bore you guys with another one. And I'm just gonna do a really quick, like five minute makeup tonight. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. We're going out to dinner tonight. I'm wearing my Zara skirt. I actually got this for New Year's, so it's pretty old, but I'll try and find it to link it. And then wearing my Skims top that I got at the beginning, or not the beginning, but I just showed you guys. I have my forward bag, put my hair in a bun. I feel like I never wear my hair like this. Like I slick it back for workouts, but I never wear it for like a nice dinner. I always feel like better when I actually like wash my hair, but my mom and I went shopping today, so we just got home and our dinner reservation is at five. That's the only time we can get our table and that's in eight minutes, so. Are you guys ready? How was dinner? Very good. So good. Oh wait, it was out of focus. <laughs> well, we're gonna get some ice cream. Hunter and I are going to one of our best friends' birthday dinners in LA. It's 
at Elefante, which is one of our favorite restaurants. And I'm very excited, even though I'm kind of like tired today for some reason, I'm not feeling very social, but that always switches and we become social. So, wow, the kitchen, what is everything? And dolls. I think 15 machines, because everybody likes a different coffee machine, but ah, it's backlit. I'm wearing these Levi jeans, they're the dad jeans. I love the fit. They're definitely a little low rise, but they're baggy, so I personally like them. And then I'm wearing my little ballet flats that I got off of Amazon. Cute, and then just a Skims top, and then the Skims bra, and my forward bag. And then I also have on some earrings. Here's in this little clip, and we're off. We have a dinner in Santa Monica, so we had to get Erwan. I have already tried, oh, I've already tried these before. Mmm, buffalo cauliflower. Next up, we have some chicken taquitos. I've never tried these before. Oh my god. Try this. Ah! Mm -hmm. Tastes like the ones I've made before. Good morning, guys. It's like 10 a.m. Sunday. I didn't vlog much yesterday because we went to that dinner and we were with our friend Diego. It was his birthday. He turned 24. He's like the youngest out of all of our friends. He's actually one of our best friends from high school and he lives in LA. He's Hunter's like very best friend. So we drove up there. My parents came to stay so that they could watch Coco so we could go and just like be out there all night. And if you guys don't know, we live in Orange County. So it's kind of like an hour and a half drive to two hours depending on when you leave. But it was so much fun. I feel like we haven't socialized like that in so long. We usually socialize like that in Arizona because there's like so many friends and Diego just like introduced us to all of his friends out there and a bunch of his coworkers and they're just like the sweetest people and it turns out that like a lot of them live in Orange County and we're like we have to play pickleball, we have to go to whatever gyms they recommended and this one girl grew up in Newport, her name was Brittany so she was giving us like all the recs and it was just a really good night so I think I got one clip of the restaurant we went to, we went to Elefante if you guys are ever in LA you have to go to this restaurant, they had the best vodka pasta, we got pizzas Branzino, I think it was. Just like so much food and it was so good. The dessert was really good too. We got tiramisu. Went back to Diego's hangout. And before we went to dinner, I went to Erwan and I got some stuff. If you guys don't know, Erwan is this like crazy famous grocery store that like the Kardashians shop at and they have the best stuff there. And I got a few things, so I'll show you guys that in a second. But I'm gonna make Hunter and I some coffee. We're gonna go on a walk with my dad. And I don't know what we're gonna do today. Dad, are we gonna golf today? Yep. We're gonna golf today, which is actually exciting because I haven't golfed in so long. So, so long. Also, my outfit of the night, PJs, is the Skims top that I got, and it's so comfy. I love this color. I already made a watch for this morning, so I'm double dipping. I had breakfast, so it's fine. Right there. A little bit of work to get done on Sunday. My dad's watching golf, you know, football, Vikings. Usually is good, but it's a little bit warm. I'm gonna finish up some work on my computer and then we're gonna go golfing. I'm gonna hang out the curtain rod in our living room today and then we're gonna take some stuff to storage. And then I'll grocery shop and we'll like cook dinner and stuff tonight. Maybe we'll go out to lunch. Maybe we'll go out to lunch. Oh, I need to take you on a walk. I'm gonna work for a little bit and then we'll take Coco on a walk. Hopefully this is in focus. Something has been weird with my camera. I just finished up editing this vlog. It's one o'clock. By the time you guys watch this video, I might honestly post this vlog tonight. So yeah, we're watching this in real time. <laughs> I feel like I do that all the time, but I'm so happy that I got to vlog this week. I feel like it was a really good week. And obviously I'll be able to look back on like the first podcast merch and stuff. So that's really cool. And I was talking about last week, just like anxiety and just where I was at with that. So it's funny that like this week was such a high week and I feel like when I first started my channel that was the purpose of my channel was to just show everything and obviously every single week is gonna be so different. And this kind of reminds me of a topic that I wanted to talk about in next week's vlog but I'll just talk about it since we're already here. I have been diving into cycle syncing and I haven't talked about cycle syncing a lot on my channel. I've talked about it once on my podcast and pretty much in that episode, I was just talking about how I hadn't done enough research in that topic. Obviously, I've seen so much online about cycle syncing for the past year. I've just dived into research on it because I'm obviously a woman. And if you guys aren't 
aware of cycles thinking like definitely do your own research and listen to the dietitians, the doctors, that's not me. Yeah, every week is just gonna be really different. I feel like that's what I show on my YouTube channel and I do think it would be fun to do like a whole week in my life of my like luteal phase that's coming up and maybe like ways that I try and listen to my body and like work with my body because that's the whole point of what cycle syncing is. So maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't know. I'm just thinking of ways to have the vlogs be really interesting for you guys. So if you have any ideas of what you want to see for the next couple of months, let me know. I feel like I'm on my YouTube grind right now. And yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I just can't believe like this week even happened. So if you guys haven't got your sweatshirt yet, I'll link a uh, link in the description. It's going to be Caitlin Nolan with an extra N at the end.com. And we still have the sweatshirt. Again, thank you so much if you bought a sweatshirt or if you just supported in any type of way. Seriously, I can't wait to twin with you guys. And I just can't believe like this week even happened. So if you guys haven't got your sweatshirt yet, I'll link a uh, link in the description. It's going to be Caitlin Nolan with an extra N at the end.com. And we still have the sweatshirts available. The pre-order is open. I don't know how long we're going to have the pre-order open, but definitely get a sweatshirt if you want them because once they're gone, they're going to be gone. This is a one-time job and wanted this sweatshirt to represent the first podcast merch. And I want to look back in like five years and be like, oh my gosh, remember like five years ago when we launched that sweatshirt. So definitely won't come back. It's kind of like the OG podcast merch. So I'll put that link down below. Again, thank you guys so much. If you have any questions about sizing or anything like that, let me know. I got a large and I just ordered an extra large because I want it to be a little bit bigger. My mom wore a large in this video, as you guys saw. Hunter wears a large, but he just ordered the extra large because he feels like the large is a little snug. They're definitely true to size. They're not like an over oversized fit. So I recommend going up one to two sizes. And then even like, if you want to wear it as like a dress, like go up like three sizes. The size range is extra small to XXXL. And yeah, in the future, if there's any demand for any other sizes, let me know. But yeah, I love you guys. Sorry this is like getting to be a long video, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week and I hope you guys have the best week.